What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a, don't know what map this is, uh, I think it's Biolab from the thumbnail, but I can't really tell. I'm not sure what I'm going to be using, I can't really watch the gameplay, I'm kind of trying to make this commentary a little quick, so. Um, but anyway, today's topic is uh, the uh, new Optic rosters, and um, if you guys didn't hear them, it's... Um, Nate Shot Scumpy Formal Crim 6 on Optic Gaming. And Embos Proofy Karma TP on Optic Nation. And um, I honestly think that has potential to be one of the best two teams. Um, I'm pretty sure Aix is going to either TK or FaZe. I'm not sure though. Um, but both teams have huge potential. I'm not sure what Ricky's doing. Um, I didn't even know he left Optic or got dropped, so uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, but I think it's cool that Proofy's still on Optic, uh, just Optic Nation instead of Optic Gaming. And I hope he stays there for a while because I think that's a good team. Both teams are good teams. Um, but I'm actually like really excited to see that. I'm a huge Optic fan. I'm not one of those fans though that's like, oh if. Uh, if like EG beats them, I'll send them death threats, or if TK beats them, I'll send them death threats. I have a lot of respect for other pros, and um, I think some of the best pros are some of the ones that don't get enough credit, like Goonjar, Nameless, Merc, um, Study's really good, uh, Zuma, Replays, all of those guys are really good. Spacely, he's actually one of my favorite players, he's on MW. I don't know, like, most people think MW are bad guys, like, I actually like Spacely, um, so, that's just, like, I think that's pretty cool, though, that Karma and TP are gonna stay together, um, I think it was really Aches and Crim6 that didn't get along with Karma, um, I don't think it was so much TP, um, I think TP and Karma were still kind of friends no matter what, but, uh, I'm actually excited to see what ha what's in store here, and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see real quick uh, what's going on with Ricky. Uh, I'm doing that right now. <clears throat> so, but yeah, that's really cool though. That uh, like I said, uh, Optic picked up three of EG's players. So, um, Dido and Neslo join Fear. Uh, Fear released legal and too quick. X joins Phase. Um, Ricky le left Optic Gaming or Optic Nation, I mean. But yeah, Dito and Neslo on Fear. I thought Neslo was going to Phase, but uh, I guess he's going back to Fear now. Um, so I guess we'll look at Fear's roster. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Neslo, Moho, obviously. Um, it's Moho, Assassin, Neslo, and Dito, and that's really a good roster. Dito's a great player. Uh, Moho is a legend. Everybody knows that. He's a legend. And um, Neslo doesn't get enough credit. He really doesn't. He's a lot better than a lot of people think. Um, he seemed to be having some problems with, I think, Sharp, um, the captain of TK. So that's, that's all right, though. I mean, it's... Uh, Completely normal to have problems like that. Curse released no chilla, so I think Curse right now is only Mud, mud Dog. Um, let's see. Yeah, or no, it's only Enable, I meant. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of dumb. Um, yeah, they released. Like, I'm gonna read you guys some of the former players they had Stainville, Nameless, and Killa, Miracles, Ricky, Parasite, Revan, Diabolic, Realized, BL Fire, Twiz, Sinful, Attach, Mud Dog, Croaster, Miyagi, Chillian, Burns, Tipsy, Fatalize. Um, Burns and Tipsy haven't been picked up yet. Um, Mud Dog hasn't, I think he's, I think he's on AR, uh, Automatic Reload. Which is a good team. Um, he was actually what a lot of people don't know about Mud Dog is he used to be a Division One lacrosse player, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, 
Yeah, and I forget how he came up with his name, but I, I've watched a few Mud Dog, uh, uh, couple, my fair share of Mud Dog streams and stuff. He seems like a good, uh, good player. Um, so I, honestly, they have there's some pretty cool, like pretty good people in the passive curse. Um, and I think some of their roster decisions may not have been the smartest. So um, I am looking at Ricky right now to see if he joined anywhere. Um, no, he has not. He, uh, so Ricky's still a free agent. Um, Age the Phase kind of like, kind of surprised me. Um, T I thought he was going to TK originally. I don't know. I don't know where I heard that from, but. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, though, because their contracts aren't up until the 1st, so, um, December 1st, so. Um, but I know, something I do know about Aches that I'm reading right now is, uh, his Elias Aches came from his old gamer tag, Headaches, which he played under during World at War and COD 4. He's been teaming with TP for over three and a half years, and that's actually finally ending, so. That's kind of sad, I mean. They, uh, I mean, I'm sure they're all happy with their teams, but I'm going to read you guys some of TP's placings. So, COD MW, er, MW2, he placed 3rd, 2nd, and 7th for a total of 2,000, I, I'm doing math, I shouldn't do math when I'm making videos, $2,250 in MW2. Then on Black Ops, he was on leverage for the whole season, um, and... He finished first three times, uh, and everything else he placed out of top three. So, um, yeah, that's those are really good placings, though. For first three times. Um, then, with complexity, he placed first. You guys know that story. Um, let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times he placed first. Um, all right, guys, I had to cut that commentary short there. I had to cut off some of it because um, I started to ramble on a little bit about EG and uh, complexity success. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.